Ava and Ollie here. We're at a beautiful beach here. We've traveled a few hours from home and we've got a awesome afternoon. The sun's just starting to come down. We've got slight offshore winds, incoming tide, and me with a spare gun. All recipes for a uh, bit of a mission and hopefully a fish speared for, for dinner. We're going off the shore today. You could call it a shore dive, but I'm actually going to base myself off my blow up paddle board, my sup, so something I haven't tried before. So yeah, we'll see what we can bring in using the sup. Perfect little area here to try it out. We can paddle out around this island, down the coast. Amazing little beach here. So yeah, should be a beautiful little afternoon. Water's not looking too clean, but um, hey, with that incoming tide, hopefully it cleans up, usually does. So fingers crossed. Right, so let's get this paddle board out. So this is the paddle board by Goose Hill Sup. It's actually a wicked little unit. All comes in this handy little backpack. So let's get this uh, pumped up. Right, good old pump. Paddle. Here's our inflatable paddle board. Sweet. So, this is the Sailor model 10 6. Quite the beast. Sweet. Got our paddle. Got our pump set up. Goes in there, nice and easy, and pump away. It's a bit of a workout. All right, we're there. Get our fin. in here safety pin all right there's our sparing platform ready sweet guys we've got our setup just gonna strap our catch bag down there we go didn't be too worried it's not exactly too rough out here it's nice and calm so we'll just have our spear gun fins in the middle leash we'll get that clipped on just in case so guys we'll, we'll get up got the dry backpack on just got a few electronics in there catch bag fins big gun let's hit it attach this line so if we do flip or anything I won't lose the gun and when we jump over I'm ready to go Away. A couple of scuba divers out here. We'll sneak past them. Get to the fish before they scare them off, eh? Water's very green. As long as we've got a few meters, we can see something. So far, so good. As I said, my balance is a little bit wobbly, but it's a pretty decent platform. Wouldn't really want to be spearfishing in choppy conditions, but there's definitely some possibilities. So um, let's just push out further and we'll get in the water and see if we can find anything. I think we'll head over, try and find a nice little rocky spot, um, chuck the bag off, and we'll anchor up the sup, and then we can uh, go for a go for a swim with the real gun. 
it's the plan anyways let's uh, see how we get on quite a nice afternoon slight offshore breeze all right it's looking quite surgy in there i think i'm going to try and get my bag up on this rock okay let's paddle we can slide under here all right this isn't um too bad <laughs> what we'll do is we'll get all my gear on get the fins on and then we'll tie the uh, paddle board off to a bit of kelp or something so that's secure not going to float away then we can get in and, and try and find those fish the aim is find a fish which is in abundance I'll cut it up as a burly add some kinnah sea itch into it as it's pretty hard in winter to get on snapper especially this close to a big city so yeah we'll just set a ground bait and then have a swim around and just see what's underwater explore this place and um, yeah fingers crossed we'll leave that for 20 30 minutes and come back and hopefully there's a nice snapper for dinner sitting on it Alright guys, that barely has been sitting for, I don't know, 20 minutes now, so we'll go have a little, little check on it, see if there's any snapper lurking about, and uh, see if we can catch some dinner. Let's have a look. Make my duck dive and sink down into the cold water, down into the beautiful kelp beds down below. Just checking my surroundings as I approach my kinner and fish burley. Closing in on the spot, I get my spear gun ready, hand on handle, ready to pull the trigger if I see a nice snapper. a few snapper on the burley here, I'm tucking myself down into the weed, the kelp, trying to disguise myself, there's a few snapper on there, just not quite big enough, I'm going to wait a bit longer, one of them sees me, there's an alright one there, I retreat slowly, being careful not to make much noise, slowly thinning away, and coming back to the surface. 
Well, there's quite a few snapper on there. A couple of fish big enough to take for sure. So what I might do is put a few more sea urchin on there, can I? Just restock that pile. Uh, we give it another 15 and hopefully something uh, a bit bigger comes on because um, I imagine if I shoot one fish it's all over so <laughs> I'll scare them all off so I'll try get a few more kin on there and um, yeah go look for some craze maybe I put a few more kinna on the fish burley and then search the coastline it's a beautiful piece of coastline big rocky cavernous areas submerged by kelp nice swim through as such very cool just cruising around and exploring nice big cracks and ledges there's a red moku here good sign that there's caves about nothing much happening I take a nice breathe up again on the surface and make my way down to the burley surely this time There's quite a nice snapper on there. <laughs> and a big stingray just came in right at the top to try and get that fish, I reckon. So just got to be patient. Uh, well, there was uh, still some snapper on there, but they've been very wary. So we'll restock it. Last chance, a few more kinna. Uh, they just get a bit more distracted when there's plenty of food and they got their heads down eating so we'll chuck a few more kinna down carry on all good magic evening it's amazing Oh my god, <laughs> can't believe I missed. Crazy. <laughs> oh well. By the way, I swear I hit him. Bizarre. Maybe it went straight through and came back out. I'm not sure. Weird. Oh, I can't believe it. My safety was on for some reason. Must have just bumped it on. Oh, gosh. There's a beautiful snapper down there. Had the shot lined up. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> I have to remove this one off this gun as well. I usually take my safeties off for this reason. Oh, my gosh. Well, we've probably got 10, 15 minutes of light before it gets too dark underwater, so... I'll have one last crack down here and fingers crossed, eh, we can 
get one of these snapper. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> that sun's just gone down. Come on, snapper. Surely this time. Let's do it. With this most likely being my last dive down for the day with the sun setting, I'm just taking my time, slowly, slowly creeping along the kelp bed here, edging ever so closely to the fish below. I make out a few figures in the haze, and then I see the shape of a nice snapper. I extend my arm, wait for it to turn broadside, and get a nice shot off. Pays off, we got him. It's all stuck up in the weeds, so let's swim down and um, get the fish out. Yeah, got it. It's really stuck in that weed. Oh, let's try again. Let's get back to the paddleboard. <laughs> Almost gonna give up then, but um, you gotta do those last dives, guys. Pay off. Tamua. Yeah, beautiful. Decent fish. Big, humpy head on him. Almost looks like the Australian variety. Um, got him right there, just behind that gill plate there. Nice safe shot. Looks to be even a um, maybe an old wound here. I'm not sure. Look at that scale, big thick thing. Weird. Perhaps. Sweet. Got one. Got the dog. That was um. <laughs> Got a cat in mouth there for a while. Couldn't believe it. Went down. Finally. I saw this big tail in the kelp there and um, I'm like there we go, there's a good snapper, there's a good snapper. So came up, waited, waited a few minutes, went down, I could see this tail again and then just waited for it, waited for it, the fish came out of the kelp, lined it up, went for the shot and the safety was on, I couldn't believe it, it has only happened to me a few times over the years. I lost a really good kingfish once um, because of that so I remove the safety on my spear gun the next day but I forgot to do it on this gun so um, when I get home later that's going to be the job get that safety off um, but anyways the fish was hungry the snapper came back and I went down again five minutes later I did one last three or four kinna smashed a few more up went down and got him he was keen as the fish was hungry he was distracted looking and 
trying to find an empty kinner because I'd roughed up all the sand and everything. And um, yeah, just came, broadside, whacked. Woo! Alright, guys, sun's going down. Got my snapper, first kill on the paddleboard. Woo hoo hoo! <laughs> go to the goose hill. Oh well, we better get back in and um, go get some ice. Stick around, we'll uh, have a cook up later. We're going to run out of light here, so I'll see you back at home soon. How's this for an evening? <laughs> Exercise, paddleboard, mental break, dinner sorted. It's great sport spear fishing. I highly recommend it to anyone. Really cool. Hard to describe the feeling when you work really hard and you just get the one fish. Um, yeah, you really appreciate the fish a lot more. And um, I love I love a bit of a challenge like this, hard dive. So yeah, wicked. Stoked as. Beautiful into the evening.